special too. Who the f threw that motherf busted ass goddamn Adidas? Rapper DaBaby is facing a ton of backlash right now after a video of him making homophobic comments at a music festival went viral. DaBaby claimed that he was trying to keep it real as he asked the audience to put their cell phone light up and then began shouting a number of homophobic comments. I'm going to tell you all about it right here on IO, but first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. DaBaby, whose real name is Jonathan Lindale Kirk, is getting cancelled by Twitter right now after he made homophobic remarks as well as bringing controversial rapper Tory Lanez on stage. If you remember, Tory was all over the news after it was alleged that he had shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot following a disagreement. In the video, DaBaby says to the audience that he will give someone a million dollars if they can guess who it is that he brought onto the stage. Tori is on stage in what looks like a giant bobblehead costume, and as he gets revealed, the audience was not impressed to say the least. Probably because Megan Thee Stallion had just performed her set right before this, so it was in pretty bad taste. The audience also made sure to make it very clear that they were not amused by this surprise performer. As the two were performing together, a fan in the audience took off their shoe and whipped it at DaBaby. Baby. But on top of that controversy for which we could dive into all on its own, what I want to focus on is the rants that Twitter wants him cancelled for. At the end of his performance he said, If you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly STDs that will make you die in 2 to 3 weeks, then put your cell phone lighter up. Ladies, if your coochie smells like water, put your cell phone lighter up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking D in the parking lot, put your cell phone lighter up. And as you can see in that image that I had to use a few different words than what he actually said because YouTube will demonetize us, but you get the gist of it. It certainly wasn't a great way to end his already controversial performance. In response to that, people called for his cancellation, like this one Twitter user who said, The baby and Tory Lanez can be cancelled to hell and back, but until these cis hetero male dudes stop listening to them, there will never be actual growth. But this person trying to cancel them both did get some pushback, and another person replied to this tweet saying, You can't really blame people that listen to DaBaby for what he said at all, plus there aren't only cis hetero males that listen to DaBaby, I'm not hetero and I listen to DaBaby and I'm not gonna stop because I like his sh**. You can like an artist and not support what they say. That being said though, many people were hopping on the bandwagon of cancel culture with another adding, Ew, the DaBaby can be cancelled now, thank you. With even a verified account saying, Supporting DaBaby or TI says a lot about y'all. And you know when the blue checkmark elite on Twitter start getting into a tizzy about something, it's only a matter of time before more people pile on. After he was continually blasted on Twitter for his remarks, DaBaby decided to break his silence. He would later take to his Twitter and say, I tell fans to put a cell phone light in the air and y'all start a million man march. I told you y'all digested that wrong but I ain't gonna lie I'm impressed. Now show this same amount of support when a racist cop killed one of our black asses, you not. Adding, Anybody who done ever been affected by AIDS, HIV, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive even though I have no intentions on offending anybody, so my apologies. But the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all, do you, y'all business is y'all business. Now that was his half apology for what he said, but even after putting out that statement, the Twitter mob was still not pleased. In that first tweet I read about him saying that people should show the same energy when a black man gets shot, well he was immediately met with criticism that he was now gaslighting people. One Twitter user that nearly has 10 thousand likes on his reply said, not you using black injustice as a gaslighting tool, with another adding, straight black men do it all the time, they hide behind racism to deflect accountability. And there's so much just going on here and quite honestly the sad thing is that this will eventually just blow over as another story overtakes the news cycle. I do believe it's important though to hold people accountable when they say wild things, but what I really want to know is how you all feel about the situation. Do you accept a baby's apology for what he said or are you of the opinion that he should be cancelled for this? Rapper DaBaby is feeling the full extent of cancel culture following homophobic comments that were made at the Rolling Loud Music Festival in Miami. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into all the details, but first make sure to subscribe if you're new here. The comments were made on July 25th while he was performing. DaBaby paused to say, quote, If you didn't show up today with HIV slash AIDS, any of them deadly STDs, that'll make you die in two or three weeks. Put your cell phone light up. Adding that ladies can put their cell phone lights up with their privates, quote, smell like water. Going on to make derogatory comments about men hooking up in the parking lot. After the comments were made, the rapper faced backlash from fellow performers as well as fans. The rapper was supposed to be headlining the final day of Lollapalooza, but after the comments, the festival dropped him. The festival said in a statement, Quote, Lollapalooza was founded on diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. With that in mind, DaBaby will no longer be performing at Grant Park tonight. Young Thug then took his place. Several artists also spoke out against the rapper's comments. The first artist I saw to speak out against DaBaby was Dua Lipa. DaBaby performs in the popular Levitating remix with her. She said that the statements horrified her, adding, quote, I really don't recognize this as the person I worked with. I know my fans know where my heart lies and that I stand 100% with the LGBTQ community. 
community. We need to come together and fight the stigma and ignorance around HIV AIDS. Elton John, who founded the Elton John AIDS Foundation charity in 1992, took to Instagram to condemn his statements as well, saying he was shocked in comments like this, quote, fuel stigma and discrimination, it's the opposite of what our world needs to fight the AIDS epidemic. Chris Brown even seemed to get involved, commenting on Instagram, quote, shut the F up, do your shows, thank everybody, then get the F off stage. Brown didn't address the baby by name, but it was pretty clear who he was talking about. At first, the baby somewhat defended his comments, saying, quote, what I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from their goddamn crib on their phone. However, days later, he tweeted out a second apology, apologizing for the comments made against HIV AIDS, but still seeming to deflect. The most recent festival to drop the baby is New York City's Governor's Ball. Just last night, the Governor's Ball tweeted out a statement condemning hate and discrimination, adding that a new lineup was coming soon. The festival did not specifically name the baby as the reason for the change, but he was removed from the poster that was showing their lineup. The baby was originally listed in the lineup that was posted May 4th. So it seems like there's no end in sight for the cancellation of DaBaby, and unless he posts a genuine apology, he'll probably still continue to get kicked from festivals. Let me know your thoughts on this one below, guys. I've personally never been a fan of DaBaby, so this really doesn't change my opinion of him. But it's interesting to see that he's getting booted from so many festivals when a lot of other artists that are performing at these festivals have also been involved in similar scandals. I think we've seen that cancel culture definitely picks and chooses who gets canceled, but I also think a lot of this would have just been avoided if he genuinely apologized for the comments like right after the fact. In other news, let's talk about DaBaby apologizing after several massive events decided to drop him following a homophobic rant that the rapper went on during his Rolling Loud performance. After many of his fellow musicians and advocates of the LGBT community condemned what DaBaby said, he put out an official apology. Although I must remind you that this came after he doubled down on his rant and even promoted a video called Giving What It's Supposed to Give, where he once again referred to AIDS in a derogatory way. After losing multiple job opportunities though, I'm guessing his management team decided to write him an apology. Here's what it said. Social media moves so fast that people want to demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow, educate, and learn from your mistakes. As a man who had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances, having people I know publicly working against me, knowing that what I needed was education on these topics and guidance has been challenging. I appreciate the many people who came to me with kindness, who reached out to me privately to offer wisdom, education, and resources. That's what I needed and it was received. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV AIDS, and I know education on this is important. Love to all, God bless. He's not wrong about people needing to have patience when it comes to ignorant behavior. If you want to inform someone, you shouldn't have to cancel them first. Although for me, it's the fact that he took a hard stance against the criticism and then caved when his bank account looked like it was about to get drained. But let me know what you think in those comments down below.